Hi, welcome to Reflections. I'm Gina and this is my daughter. Hi, I'm Camille. We're joining you today to talk about prayer and thankfulness. We're so happy that you've joined us. We're going to start with um, Colossians uh, chapter 4, verse 2. I'm going to read it in two um, translations. One's going to be in New Living. The other is going to be in Amplified. And this is what it says in the New Living. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Now, this is the Amplified version, which I love. Be persistent and devoted to prayer, being alert and focused in your prayer life with an attitude of thanksgiving. That's what we're going to be talking about today, right? Yes, ma'am. Having an attitude of thanksgiving when you go to pray, even though your prayer has not been answered yet. So let's talk about what thankfulness means. It is defined as conscious of the benefit received. You're very conscious of the benefit that you've received. You're thankful for it. It's an expression, uh, an expressive of thanks, and it's well pleased or glad with the results of something, right? But when we go to pray, we don't have results yet, right? So as a believer, we have to believe first before we pray. And that's why we can be thankful after, even though what we prayed for has not yet shown up, right? So what does this scripture mean to you? Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Well, like there was this one time, like when I think of the scripture, I always think of an example, like when you're, when you're searching through the fridge and you can't find something like milk gets on my last nerves and you're searching for it and you just can't find it. And you're just like, I swear it was in here. And then you're like, okay, hey mom, where'd the milk go? And you're like, it's in there. It's like right on the top shelf. You can't miss it. And you're like, it's, it's not in here. Like it's is not in the fridge. And then you start to move stuff around. Cause like at first you were just like, eh, I don't see it, whatever. Where is it? Cause like you, you're just not looking hard enough. And then once you move stuff out of the way, you are finally able to see what you have because sometimes when we aren't able to really see our thankfulness, we have our pessimism and our worry and our anger and all these things that have like clouded our vision in our way so that we aren't able to see our true blessings in our life. And so sometimes you have to move some things out of the way mm -hmm. so that you can be thankful, yep. right? And what you were looking for was all ways there. Yep. It wasn't really missing. Mm -mm. You, just have, you have to change your mindset in order to see your true blessings in life. Very good. That's excellent, by the way. I, I might steal that. I don't that's know. Okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, this scripture means to me is that no matter the outcome of prayer, because I have a relationship with him, I can always be thankful. Um, and I'm thankful when I go into prayer. And part of the thankfulness of going into prayer is being thankful for the relationship. It's such a blessing to me. So that's when I when I think devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart that I'm thankful that I even get to come before the throne mm -hmm. room. Amen? Amen. So talk to me a little bit about what um, thankful prayers sound like to you as a teenager. What does a thankful prayer sound like to you? Well, I mean, I always start my prayers with thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you that I had a great day. Even if I didn't necessarily have a great day, because, you know, we all have those days and, you know, people can just get on our last nerves. We can just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and every little thing annoys us, people around us, even the people we love. And I think that can be one of the hardest things to be thankful because there's so much stuff that can make us say, yeah, life is horrible. Like I can't, it's horrible. What, there's nothing good about it. And, you know, even if you think you had a bad day, you really had a good day because one, you woke up, you were breathing, and you know, you have people around you, you woke up in a bed, you were able to get coffee in the morning, you have people who love and care about you, and you just always have something to be grateful for no matter what. Amen. 
when I think about what a thankful prayer sounds like for me, it's not simply I get up in the morning and I say this prayer or I get ready to go to bed at night to say this prayer, but it is a almost a running comment, um, conversation that I'm having with God all day long. Like um, I was looking for something in my office the other day and I really needed it and I couldn't find it. And, and even though I couldn't find it, I was like, Father, thank you. I just, I just praise you. And pretty soon I was able to put my hand on it. You know, sometimes it's simple as I don't have to get out and pick up the groceries that the lady comes and brings it to mm -hmm. my car. Thank you, Father. I'm so grateful for that. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think oftentimes when we're thinking about prayer, that we think it has to be always you alone with God in a certain posture um, for him to even be able to hear you. But that's not yeah. really true. You know, it's just those moments throughout your day that you're thankful. Like grandma actually answers the phone or that one's so someone blessing. calls you and says, hey, um, can you pick up? I have some cookies for Camille. Can you take those to her? Those are little moments where you're thankful that people are thinking mm -hmm. of you um, and that and and those are to me, those are little touch points that God uses to say, I see you. Yep. And so I don't you know, I'm certainly I have morning prayer and night prayer, but I also have this conversation all through the yeah. day. So that's kind of what it sounds like to me. Just, you know, like when we're done, I'll be like, thank you, Father, that we didn't. Sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, right? Why is why do you think it's important, particularly for kids in 2020, COVID, school, all that stuff? Why do you think it's important to remember Thanksgiving in your prayer life? Oh, well, I mean, you know, it's hard, especially right now, just as you said. And having thankfulness and realizing all that you have it really just helps you have hope and faith in God and trust in him that hey he has me I'm all right and this is gonna be okay because that can be extremely hard right now and you know just realizing all your blessings it can just give you an extra step in the morning like that what day was okay and this is gonna be better and then the next day is gonna be even greater excellent that's perfect so here's what I want to would say is that I like what you're saying about like being thankful that today was okay and tomorrow can be better and the next day can be even better. And so um, when you do that, um, what does it sound like for you when you're, when you're thanking him? Well, honestly, just every little thing, because there's so many things that we can look over such as, you know, thank you, Father, that I had soap today to wash my hands. <laughs> no, like, seriously. And then, like, I thank you, Father, that we have electricity today. Amen. And that we had running water and that our heat's working, our air conditioning's working. Just, like, things that you wouldn't think about but are, like, necessities to your everyday life. Excellent. So we just want to challenge you today. This is just a little um, glimpse into what our lives look like. But we want to challenge you, the adults and the and the teenagers and kids, to really think about what you're thankful for before you pray because sometimes that changes how we pray um, i would just encourage you to get into the word look at colossians 4 2 and um, ask the lord to show you places where you can be more thankful in your life amen amen let's just pray heavenly father we just praise you and we thank you we're so grateful yes father we're so grateful that we have a relationship with you and that we can boldly come before you. Yes, Father. Not just to ask for things, but to thank you for who you are in our lives. We thank you that you help us to be more effective in our prayer life, Father, and that you help us to be more grateful and thankful for all that you are and all that you are making us to be and all that you give us in our day daily lives father we're so grateful we praise you and we thank you for it father in jesus mighty name amen amen thank you for joining us for reflections we'll see you again soon